Hello everyone and welcome to the first official YouTube violin video, I guess. Um, the other ones are all lives that I posted on YouTube. So this is the first video really made for YouTube, for Firelane. So, welcome! <laughs> Uh, okay, so this video is very simple. It's not gonna be very long. It's just because I realized when I started uh, streaming and when I wanted to put my VTuber model um, on my stream that there were a lot of people struggling with putting it on the Twitch Studio software. So I figured that I would show everyone how I did it. I'm not sure if this is the best or the only solution, but this is the one that I found and which is working. So here we go. So I'm in the Twitch studio, okay? And I also have opened my VTube studio. So as you can see here, we are. <laughs> so first of all, you need to like set up your VTube studio. I'm not gonna show you that because I'm still myself, I'm learning about it. You can see the mouth is still having issues, but that's another story. What you can do though is go here on this little icon and choose a background. So you won't have the green background at first. Uh, for me, it was the background eight that was the green background. So you put the green background, then you can also lock your model in place because like if you don't, okay, that now it's locked, but if you unlock it, you can like move it around, which can be good, but I know I don't want like to uh, move it by mistake. So you just lock it here and then you can just click on the little here to close okay so now we're back on the twitch studio and how do we add it so i made a scene a test scene for this where there's only one background that's all on there i'm gonna add um a screen share i'm sorry my, my thing in, is in french but it's a screen share okay you add this and here you go and you change which uh software you want to show so you put VTube Studio, you click OK, and then you're going to do multiple things. First of all, you're going to make sure that this little uh, lock isn't, well, locked like this. It needs to be open so that you can resize. Uh, okay, I'm only... okay, yeah, sorry. So it needs to not be locked. And you also need here to put, uh, okay, I'm not sure how to translate those, but for me, it's the second one, okay? So not the first, not the third, the second one is the good, the one that I think is the better. So better. You can also use like the last one, but you see it's like, it makes it less good visually. So you put this one and then you can resize how you want uh, your little window for your model. And if it's not well placed or like if sometimes when you do this, okay, of course now it's going to work well. But <laughs> like, see, sometimes it's not centered. So in those cases, you go back in there, you double click, unlock your model, and you just move it around until it is uh, well placed. And then you can lock it again. So uh, let me like put it something like that, which is kind of similar to what I do normally on my streams. Uh, from there, you see you, we have the green screen. So what you're going to do is on this same, like having this selected, you go down there and you go on uh, green screen effects. Okay. You click on the little plus and here you go. And if you like, if it's not working well, you can click there to edit it. And like, you can switch the color. You can switch like how much it's taking the transparency, etc. Like you have a few settings. Once this is done, you just have to save your scene and here you go. Um, one thing that I realized is that if, uh, like once this is done, if you like close all of your software, if you want it to work again without having to touch anything else, you have to launch VTube Studio first before launching Twitch Studio. Otherwise Twitch Studio just won't uh, show you model anymore. At least for me, that's what it's doing. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong, but yeah, that's how it works for me. Um, okay, well, I hope this helped some of you at least. Um, thank you for staying.
and don't forget to subscribe oh. don't forget to subscribe <laughs> leave a leave a like and all of those things that we do on youtube uh thank you again and see you next time bye